What's up guys, welcome back to another episode of iFish Li. Sorry I haven't posted a fishing video in the last couple of days. It's because I've been really busy with work and getting prepared for this awesome trip that's coming up in the next week, which I'll talk about more in the end of the video, so stay tuned for that. But right now, we're focused on this mystery tackle box. It is the June 2020 inshore edition of the mystery tackle box and i'm really excited about the baits i got in it i really think they're going to be useful for me and i will talk more about it once we get it open so but first i just want to say i'm not sponsored by mystery tackle box at all but i really think that it's a great thing to get monthly because it really gets you to like step out of your comfort zone as an angler using lures you wouldn't typically use you could learn new techniques which has happened for me, like I've gotten lures in this box and I've ended up really liking them and just buying them again and learning a new technique from it. And also it, ha it just increases your arsenal of lures. So if you wouldn't typically buy something and they're only biting on that, that one day, you'll be, you'll be lucky that you got the mystery tackle box because you'll have it in your box and other people might not. So. I think it's a really, really good thing to get. So let's get right into this box. If I can open it. Okay. So starting out, always got the, the dibble tips and tricks. Uh, just some cool stuff to read in there. And some funny stuff, Carl's fishing test, stuff like that. I always like to read through that. Next up, we got this pretty cool sticker, fish on a bike. I always like to throw these on my tackle box or kayak. I like getting those. It's a pretty cool addition to the box. And then this is the what's inside. Uh, tells you what's inside the box. Uh, it tells you prices and the names of the lures and everything. So let's go through this from price lowest to highest. Starting out with the best saltwater TDE sprout hooks. Let me find those. So here are the um, sprout hooks. I think these would be perfect for uh, what I do with the uh, bucktail and the gulp. For the uh, gulp on the dropper loop, pull these out in a second and just feel them. See how. See how they feel. They look really, really quality. Um, so, yeah, really good sharp hooks. Don't really feel really, really strong. I think that I'm gonna get some use out of these using these for a gulp or just on a dropper loop or a high-low rig with clam or squid or something. I think it'll be very useful to just have throw add into my tackle box with hooks. I always like getting stuff like that. Next up is the, and that, that was $1.99. Next up is the Big Bite Baits Shrimp Tail for $2.49. Let's pull that. So this, it's like a kind of like dull pink color. I think that this is going to be killer under the lights and the piers I've been fishing lately. I think that the weak fish would slam this. He's like, have been seeing weak fish under the lights, but I haven't been able to get any. I think that this on just a bare uh, jig head or on a bucktail is gonna have really nice action. This dull pink color, weak fish. I think they're gonna slam them at night. So I can't. I really can't wait to use this. Like, I wish I could fish tonight, but I can't. But soon, when I get back from my trip, I'm definitely gonna be using this. I think that this is gonna get slammed by a weak fish. So. That, and definitely a good color. It's like a dull pink. We fish really like pink. It's going to be very useful for me in my tackle box. Um, and also, I think a bass would slam this too. And of course, the blue fish would rip it to shreds. But Next up is the Eagle Claw Tantalizer for $4.99. This, better known as a diamond jig but it's got a treble on the back. I don't really like that, so 
what I'm gonna do. I always like just having extra diamond jigs in my tackle box. I always lose them to blues, stuff like that. They get all bit up from the blues teeth. Um, but I don't really like treble hook on my diamond jigs because it makes it really hard to unhook with bluefish. So luckily, it's got a solid split ring on there, but I got this DMC, which is like tail hook and yellow color. I like that color this time of year. Blues, blues and bass in the surf will definitely slam that. But always good to just have an extra diamond jig. And it's like two ounces. I'm definitely going to be able to slay some fish on this. Um, yeah, so I'm going to be trying to do a mystery. The hook on this treble is super sharp, though. I'm going to be trying to do a mystery tackle box slam with this box after I get back from the trip. So, yeah, this is the hook that I'm going to be putting on the back of that. And you can get these at Capture Bait and Tackle, $4. I think that's a really good deal. It's really, really quality DMC hook and a hand-tied um, bucktail on there. And we got a couple different colors at Capture. Next up is the Biospawn Exo Swim. So, I've used these before. And I really, really love them. They've got such a great action on them, and this is a cool color that I've actually never used before. So these definitely, definitely slay in um, back bays for stripers, and just either buzzing it right below the surface on a light jig head, or just swimming it in slowly. Definitely gonna get slammed by some stripers. I'll pull one out to show you guys. These exo swims. Really firm plastic and really, really nice action on them. Got the rib body, makes it really, really move nicely in the water. Looks super realistic. I've never gotten this color before. I'm excited to try this out. I think I'm even going to take it up on the trip with me, which I'm going to talk more about at the end of the video. That was $5.99. Lastly is the Weston Magic Minnow. And again, another weak fish slayer in the pink color. Might be a little bit bigger for weak fish, but who knows? We get a giant weak fish slam this thing. This is $9.99. So, really, really quality jig heads on this. And it comes with an extra one. Um, and it's also weedless, so... For those of you in Long Island, you guys know in the bays there's been really, really a ton of slip gut and it's also known as just like beads, just algae stuff gets all over your, your hooks. This this hook is, I don't know if you guys can really see that, I'll take it out and show you guys, but this hook is weedless, I just tore this apart. Um, it's like a weed, it's like a, basically a Texas rig jig head. And oh, this plastic is really, really nice. It definitely has a really nice action on it. Oh, okay, so it's hmm. okay, so it's a swing hook, and it's and it's weedless. I've never really seen that before. I think that's gonna give that even more action because the hook can go freely from the jig head. Yeah, this I could definitely see myself catching bass on this. I don't. It doesn't say the ounces on the jig head, but I can use this in the back bays, under the under the uh, pier lights. This thing will definitely slightly slight, and I'm definitely going to bring it up on my trip with me, which I'm going to talk about in one second. So, total, if you add that up, I don't, I'm using my phone to, to uh, record, so I can't really add it up right now, but at that's, it always adds up to more than what you actually paid for the box, which is always awesome. So, again, I think you guys should really just try out Mystery Tackle Box, see how you like it. Um, I'm not sponsored by them at all, and I really think that you guys will not be disappointed if you do get a Mystery Tackle Box. Um, I always just like having extra lures. I always just like looking at the lures. I love, I love getting new lures. It's like Christmas every month. That's like their one of their sayings. It's really, really awesome. All right, so now for those of you that have been waiting for me to talk about my trip. All right, so I'm heading up to a cabin on Lake George uh, next week. I'll be standing there for like four nights, 
and I'm definitely going to try and slay some smallies, get on some new species, and I think I'm going to be able to get some pretty cool videos. I'll probably be able to make two to three videos from the trip. Definitely going to get footage every day. First day, my goal is to just catch my uh, catch a smallie. I haven't caught a smallie in like about a year. And also, I really want to catch a rock bass. And apparently, that lake is crawling with rock bass. So if I get a rock bass, that would be species number 43. And I know it's kind of hard to uh, get pike there. But if I got a pike, I would be so happy. I'm going to be throwing some spinner baits around. Hopefully, a little pike just picks one up. Uh, probably throw this around and definitely the exo swims. Definitely gonna throw the exo swims around, and I'm just gonna be throwing small swim bait stuff like that. Also, be throwing. You guys will see it in my first video from the trip. But hefty uh, fishing his hefty swimmers. He makes some a line of baits that I'll definitely be throwing. So when I make that video, I'll link the his Instagram in the description if you guys want to get some and I know this video went a little bit long but if you guys are not already subscribed please make sure to subscribe if you're new to the channel the first video ever you watch please make sure to subscribe and if you like this unboxing please give it a thumbs up so yeah thank you guys for watching I hope you guys are excited for my uh, Lake George fishing trip and stay tuned for more videos when I get back I'm gonna be hitting the salt water hard I'm probably Probably just until it slows down, then I might go over to fresh, but saltwater has been pretty solid. So, thank you guys for watching. See you guys in the next video.